and welcome back. So what I've got now is a, uh, a, a little bit extra up on here. So birthdays, do they really mean anything? Now I mentioned that uh, when we're looking at numbers, they have got a particular uh, meaning behind them. And I mentioned depends on where they're found. So like a, I think I said a yellow flower and a yellow car. Yellow is common to both of them. But it just depends on where, depends on where you find the yellow as to how it, it looks and what it is. So a yellow ball and a pink ball, they're still a ball but they're just different. And people seem to have a favour for a particular colour. Now the reason we have a, a, a favour for a particular colour is because it resonates with us. Everything in life is running at a frequency. The, the electricity in America is 60, frequent, 60 cycles a second. Uh, in places where I am in New Zealand, they run at 50 times a second. So we have these frequencies always going through the atmosphere uh, in our electrical wiring and through our life. And hence the magnetic fields that we've got when we talked about the sun and the earth. So I call the day that you're born on a trait. It's a bit like a habit. You kind of do that all the time. And with that timing that we have with this habit, it puts a trait on you. Now, here we have a, a person's birth date, which was the 14th day of the third month, 1897 was the year. Now that happens to be Albert Einstein's birth date. So by taking that, he had the 14th of March every year after he was born just the same. But if we were to add that up, 14 adds to 5, 1 and 4, 3 is just 3, and 1879 is, 1 and 8 is 9, 18, 25. 2 and 5 equals 7. So we could say the sum of Albert's birthday was 5 plus 3 is 8, and 7 is 15, which comes to 6. Now, at this particular way, we're looking at what was his birth date on the time that he was born, when he was time-stamped. And it became cycle part of the cycle of six. Six just means responsible over things that he does. So Albert had a way of doing things in a responsible manner and the day that he was born on says that he was technically inclined. When I mentioned about the numbers earlier, one was the self and four was like discipline and, and technical and basic. So you got this person who was uh, in their own way technically inclined in a variety of fields and that's really what we're looking at for your birth data. Once we've found that out, we know that at some stage later, Albert just happened to pass away in 1955. I know that because he, he died the year that I was born in. And 1955 adds up to 2. How, how did I do that? 1 and 9 is 10, 15, 20. 2 plus 0 equals 2. So the day that he died, 8, 9, 10. It was a brand, or should I say, a brand new year for him, which, mean, which means he finished an old Nike cycle of nine years and was starting a new cycle. Uh, this is something that I monitor and watch when I'm looking at doing people's birthdays. So your birthday represents a trait, a quality that you have, and the entire birth date that you have or your timestamp, or in his case, which was six, represents that he was responsible with the way that he worked on things. And when we do this stuff, we can find out how you are in every year, every month, every day, and when you have good days and bad days. It's based on, literally, oops, take that away, this frequency of you and what's around you clicking together the right way. And sometimes if you're having a clash, or things are going the wrong way, it's making a mess, that's when you're having a bad hair day, as, as it were. So birthdays, we can, we can track and check that out. The entire birthday kind of relates to your natural skills and talents. Your natural, your fixed natural skills and talents. And this would be, on your birthday, the habits. So these words have been put in there to describe what they do for you. So I hope you enjoyed that little lesson because it's part of the courses that I will be teaching in a lot more depth than this. Thanks for listening and don't worry, we're going to be doing number five shortly and that'll be uh, the, uh, well, I'll tell you about it when I get up. So go to number five, which is next.